got to go. Look at this. She has got to go. Hi, hey friends and neighbors. This is Chuck out at Sheridan Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. It is another beautiful day here on the farm, but it's going to get hot after a while, and we've got a bunch of stuff to do. We're going to get the new excavator out today. Um, got a little organization stuff. Out there in the field, I've got a tree up here at the uh, next to the uh, wood pile. We need to get that cut up. That'll be some good practice. We'll use the grapple and or the thumb and all that kind of stuff. Just trying to get that thing figured out and learn it. And then tomorrow morning, early, 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 like five o'clock, I need to be leaving out of here with two cows. So Son and I are going to go down. We're going to try to get the cows up in the corral, get us a couple cut out, get us a couple picked out to go to the butcher first thing in the morning. Man, that's a lot going on. Y'all hang out with us for a little bit. Let's get some work done. All right, here is our project for the day. We are going to, this is the log yard. This is where I keep all the stuff that I've got to go on the sawmill. So we're gonna work on organizing this today. We're gonna to use the uh, excavator and we're gonna pick some of these logs. We're gonna pick all these logs up. And one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna relocate them back up here, right to the left of the, of the barn, which is where the sawmill is. And I thought this would be good practice picking up and moving and manipulating logs using the bucket and the thumb. Then after we do this, we'll go back up to the shop and we'll cut up uh, that birch tree that fell the other day across the uh, driveway that we initially used to pick this up. You know, we took the logs up there and put them beside the shop so we could cut them up for firewood. So we'll go finish that up here in a few minutes. But I wanna work on this right now. I've got there's some eight foot, some 10 foot, maybe some longer stuff in here. I was thinking about, okay, how do I want to separate? Do I want to separate it by species? Do I want to separate it by length? I think the easiest thing is I'm just going to separate it by length. So we're going to try to put all the eight foot together, eight foot stuff together, all the 10 foot stuff together. And then we may find some things in here that just need to be cut up into firewood or put in the burn pile and trashed. I don't know about these guys right here. These are a couple of, of uh, white oak. They are huge. Um, I don't know if I can pick them up or not. We'll, we'll see how it goes, but uh, let's work on moving this stuff around, getting it cleaned up, getting it straightened up, and making this area a little nicer. And after what, part of the reason I need to move this, I'd like to have the cows in here graze a little bit. There's some grass in here they can get to. And then after a while, I've got them, I see them right now, they're in that, underneath that big poplar tree right behind the excavator there. We're going to have to work them around, work them into the corral, and sort out two, because I got two of those babies going to the butcher shop in the morning. And uh, we got to get them in the corral so we can get the trailer set up. And we'll load them nice and early, really nice and early in the morning, and get them off to Piedmont. So, but for right now, let's see if we can't work on this, uh, work on this log yard a little bit, get this stuff kind of cleaned up, moved out of the way. I figure this is a good way to kind of get a little hand-eye coordination practice in on this deal. And there's really nothing I can hurt. You know, not trying to dig a hole in the ground or anything like that. Probably, probably going to be very inefficient at it, but... get a tape measure. lesson learned on my part. You get a pine in, you need to get it cut pretty quick.
Um, so the way I ended up arranging these, most of these are eight feet. Uh, most of these are 10 feet. There might be one or two in there that's a little bit longer. And then these up here are 12 or longer or just something that's unusual. And like I said, everything, the, pine, the poplar looks good, the pine's kind of rotten. What I wish I would have done is got some of these smaller ones, these smaller rounds, laid them out, and then stacked everything on top of them to get stuff up off the ground. But I didn't think about it until I was way too far into this to stop and redo it. Because um, I've been at this for a while, but that's all right. It's been a lot of good practice, a lot of good practice. And I got one big pine back here that rolled off. So I've not counted. There's a, there's a bunch here. There's a whole bunch here. But I ended up, <laughs> had a little problem right out here. So first off, these are white oak, and I didn't even try to move them because I know they're going to be massively heavy. But I am going to put them on the sawmill. We may have to take the chainsaw and split them. But I'm going to keep the. But this, I'm going to use all this for firewood. I, I don't. I think it's. I think it's hickory. This one here may be a poplar, and that may be as well. But I think this is hickory. It's pretty ugly. A lot of knots. I mean, it just doesn't. It just. It doesn't look good. And then this one right here, I could get it off the ground as long as I had the blade, the front blade on the excavator, as long as I had it down, I could get it off the ground. But when I would pull up on the blade, the whole excavator would tip forward. So this thing is heavier than the excavator will lift. So without the blade. So I think what we're gonna do is we'll come out one day, we'll just pick this up We'll saw it off with the chainsaw into 16 inch rounds. We'll split that up for firewood too. I think that, I'm not sure what it is. I, I, maybe it's oak. I think it's the same thing as this, but now that I'm looking at this, I don't think this is hickory. I'm not sure what it is. We'll just have to get into it and see. So, good practice, good practice. Got a couple of hours of seat time in on this thing. And, uh, Got a little wood up at the wood up at the uh, shop, so let's go work on that. And uh, then we got to move some cows. They're all down here. We got to see if we can't get two of them up here into the corral, get them loaded up, uh, get them into the corral so we can load them in the morning and take them to the butcher. So whew. that thing's about wore me out, y'all. That's. That's a little stressful. That's a little tiring to get in there and run that thing for a couple hours. Keep moving. Let's go. Come on, Penelope. Come on.
Come on, little guy. You might want to put your buggy up there next to the building. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on, we're walking. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, Penelope. Let's go. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, sweet girl. Let's go. This one has got to go. Look at this. She has got to go. She jumped. Nothing. He's going to try to go. There you go. I open your big gate. Huh? Open your big gate. There you go. Here he comes. Come on, little fella. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Scoot, scoot. Scoot. That big white will go on. Come on, girl. Come on. Well, that was a bit of an adventure. You think? So we had a couple that kept getting out of the wire. They left chasing back in the wire, 
back in the, I mean, it was just kind of a thing, but, but we got one, well, no big deal, we got them. Oh, yeah, no big deal. Everybody gets excited when there's a cow out. Yeah. But we're good. We're good. All right, let's fix the trailer, and then we'll be ready to load up bright and early I'm tomorrow morning. Water too. Yeah, we need to fix them some water. All right, let's get to work. All right, there it is. Um, man, good day with the excavator. Got in a lot of practice. I probably spent four or five hours in that thing working on this little tree up here, getting it cut up, and then also moving all those logs around out in the log yard. Really good practice to get in there, work the controls, kind of start learning what does, you know, what movement does what. To say that I'm comfortable, I absolutely could not say that, but I feel better about getting in it and trying to do something. So, you know, I think it'll get, the more you use it, the more you do it, the better you get. So looking forward to practicing with the, with the excavator some more. So I got those two cows in the, in the corral. Got to get them loaded up early in the morning, take them, drop them off um, at Gibsonville, and then I'll leave there and run down to Ashboro, which is where we pick up product. Um, I've got a cow down there, so we'll pick that up. Out of these two out here, half of one is sold. The other one and a half will be for retail cuts. So we'll be taking all that to farmer's market. She may be pulling some more roast out to do another round of jerky, um, which reminds me, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below for some of our Sheridan Park Farms jerky. That is a product that we can ship. So if you're interested in that, link is down below. And shout out to our friends over on Patreon. Um, if you're a Patreon member, I've got a coupon for you. You can go over and order jerky and we will take $2 off per pack on jerky. So basically, um, I'll cover the shipping for you. So anyway, it's hot, I'm tired, ready to go to the house and uh, get something cold to drink, kind of cool off a little bit. So anyway, like we always say, please keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families and we'll see you on the next video, thanks.